Dev Call. The One by Emma Dawson. I was 15, sitting crying on the floor, and my grandma sidled up to me and said, Some people are just born with tragedy in their blood. Grandma, I've just been dumped, I snapped, incredulous at her lack of tact. Little did I know then that she... Oh, she kind of had a point. Not that I like to think of myself that way. It took me a while to get married, but once I did... I went all out. My first wife was much older, a failed novelist who worked in advertising and resented me for not making her a better person. I adored her. She broke up with me after three years by letter. Of course, we had it out in person once I drove round to her office, but, well, if it hadn't been happening to me at the time, I would have laughed, really. That crazy woman throwing bits of stationery at her wife while she tried to steer me away from the direction of her boss's office. (laughs) Our colleagues must have had a field day. I had a few situations that didn't go anywhere in between and, well, then I met my second wife, who was younger. She was very attached to her mum. I worshipped her. Well, her mum was a hoot. After a few glasses, she'd start telling you embarrassing childhood anecdotes about her and singing, I'm just a girl who can't say no. I don't... I don't remember much about her, actually. I wonder why. Anyway, she dumped me after only a year and a bit. And I remember that this one was in person. She told me that I was too old for her, but it later turned out that her new girlfriend was only five years younger, so it can't have been that. I jumped straight on the rebound into marriage with wife number three. Now, this one was an improvement on the last two. She was in the RAF. She was away a lot, and she'd bring me presents whenever she came home. Pressed flowers, bits of rock from her travels, things like that. (laughs) We were together for eight wonderful years Was it nine? Well, eight or nine. Anyway, then, one evening, she cried down the phone that she hated everything in her life and she needed to start again. I was completely blindsided. But five years later, I met my fourth wife and I had a slow and steady courtship, the longest I've ever had, and I married her a year later. (laughs) She used to pull out the chair for me. Let me go through doors first. (laughs) She thought she was some kind of Regency lady killer. (laughs) And we were very happy. Until six years later, when she suddenly announced that she was utterly disgusted by my signature carbonara and, in fact, had always been utterly disgusted by it. It turned out the carbonara wasn't the only issue. My dislike of cleaning, the way... or the way I plucked my eyebrows... My habit of sighing. Mm. You know, when I was enjoying myself. Well, the list, it went on and on and on. I was single after her for a good ten years. I, I I couldn't find a decent gal. And then, all of a sudden, wife number five swept me off my feet at a salsa for the over sixes class at the community centre. We started competing together in national competitions. It was fabulous. Sometimes we used to win. Till she found out she was dying. She went back to her first wife because she was more nurturing. So yeah, that's five wives. And I've never been the one doing the dumping. I suppose it's just not in my nature. I like to think of myself as easygoing. Anyway, why was I telling you all this? Oh, yes, yes, well, the thing is, I'm looking for wife number six. Well, I've got to prove Grandma wrong, after all. I'm hoping that this time it'll be the one. Do you know anyone? 
I'm not fussy. This was an Epcol Entertainment Clockwork Digital Studios original production, a part of the On Another Wavelength audio anthology series, featuring the voice talent of Samantha Boffin, written by Emma Dawson, directed and produced by Simon James Collier, series created and co-produced by Adam Deschanel, soundscape design by Zachary Elliott Hatton. 